For years, the spotlight was on fat, and overindulgence in foods like this was presumed to be the culprit causing our obesity crisis. Marvels made from pure fresh milk that has almost no fat. So, back in the early 1980s, the benefits of low-fat foods were heavily promoted in adverts like these. This is the Special K Pinch. And for the first time, the government published guidelines on fat intake. Now a study has questioned the scientific basis of those early recommendations. But in the 30 years since, official advice has developed based on better research. Too many hidden nasties can create dangerous levels of fat in your body. This is the government's current public health message. Experts say it's unhelpful to undermine it. There is a risk that this sort of the way it's reported could confuse people and undermine the good common sense advice that we give. So what advice about fat should we be following? If you eat too much of anything, you're going to gain weight and that's going to be your biggest risk factor for heart disease. And the thing to remember is that fat is a very easy way of eating too many calories because it's much more concentrated in its calories than proteins and carbs. So what you need to know is when it comes to fats, there's ones to keep down. The obvious ones, the crisps, the biscuits, the sausages, the fried food and heavy rich food. Keep those down. And instead, there's fats that are actually going to have some good components in them, some good nutrients. Your oily fish, which is going to have your omega-3s, your nuts and seeds with the vitamins and minerals in them, and even cheese, because that's got protein and calcium in them. Stick to your good fats and everything else that comes into balance. It's inevitable that official guidelines about diet will constantly develop as science progresses. But the reality is, most of us do not manage to follow the recommendations anyway. Catherine Jones, 5 News. <laughs>